This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here with UFC welterweight Michael the Maverick Chiesa. Uh, Mike, um, I gotta ask you, you know, you got this girl named Miranda Maverick now yeah. in the UFC and I asked her, I want to ask you, who's the best Maverick in the promotion? Well, here's the thing. I, I can't compare myself to her when it comes to my nickname up against her last name. So it's like, given the fact that it's, it, it's her last name, I can't contend with that. But nonetheless, she's a heck of a fighter. and. Uh, Something it's something nice that we have in common. She did bring up the fact that she's a real maverick. You're <clears throat> oh. fake maverick. <laughs> that her words, not mine. Who's the okay. best maverick in the UFC? You or Michael Chiesa? <laughs> I think me. I'm not a fake one. <laughs> oh. I can't wait to play I'm the clip okay. back. <laughs> I actually saw him right as I was. So I got off the plane and headed straight to the PI for training when I got here on uh, I don't know what day it was Thursday. What is today? Today is Friday. Friday. Yep. I think it was Wednesday night. I trained um, with everybody. Yeah, it would have been Wednesday night. And he was the one coming out of the door and was making fun of me because I didn't know how to get in the PI. I've never been there except when like securities brought me. And I was like, oh, it's the wrong door. And went to that one. And then he starts telling the Uber driver, he's like, this girl, this girl stole my name. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah. And like torment him in Abu Dhabi too. And he was like, you got to lose your nickname. I've already got that nickname, you know. <laughs> Anyway, you know you're cool, Miranda. Yeah. Now, uh, for yourself, man, look, I mean, obviously, welterweight division, when you look at that, you know, people talk about lightweight a lot. All those killers, like one through eight, then you got a great champion, and you're one of those guys in that mix. Like, when you take a step back and see, like, yo, I'm, I'm one of these guys that everyone talks about, what's that even like, if you could put into words? I'm a pretty humble guy, so I don't really kind of put myself on any type of pedestal, but as an analyst, I definitely take a step back and look at that division and just see all the, we have like a good mix of like up and coming talent, the Shavkat Rachmanovs, the Hamzat Chemayevs, and the established veterans like Jorge Masvidal, Gilbert Burns, myself. Uh, so it's a really fun division to compete in. And what's next for the Maverick? What's, uh, what's going for you? I'm on the mend from a little injury right now, so uh, the most important thing right now is to make sure I get a full bill of health before I get back in the octagon. But I got the itch to compete, especially being out here at International Fight Week, so uh, I'm eager to get back in there, but I got to make sure my body's right. Two rules. Cool. If they are a current champion, you cannot say they are a current champion. Okay. You also can't use their nickname. Makes okay. it too easy. So I have to say their first and last name, not say they're a champ. Yeah. All right, deal. All right. Okay, this girl, UFC Bantamweight, she beat Misha Tate. She's uh, uh, another one, brunette. Uh, Got the tattoos on the side. Uh, she's fought Holly Holm twice. She's fought Holly Lost Holm. them. Lost both of them. Uh, oh my gosh. Named after a movie, like her nickname's after a very iconic boxing movie. Oh, uh, Raquel Pennington? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay, this guy, uh, featherweight, amazing hair. Let's just say like it is. Amazing hair. Uh, fought for the title twice. Fought for the title twice. Uh, not Frankie Edgar. Fought for the featherweight title. Uh, Max Holloway? Uh, dude, he got beat by Max. Got beat by Max. Jose Aldo? Long hair. Long hair. Oh, uh, Brian Ortega. Yeah. There we go. Okay, this girl was a straw weight, now is a flyweight. Um, came in. Joanne Calderwood? Uh, no, another one. First and last name start with the same letter. Uh, Cynthia Cavia. Yes. All right, that's, oh, mm, the most, best female fighter ever. Oh, Amanda Nunes. Get it. There we go. Right, not bad. At Actually, the buzzer. the best female fighter of all time, Juliana Pena. Uh, yeah. Just got to throw that out there. You know what? That's a great answer, Mike. Yes, sir. I like it. All right, you got four. I'm not going to lie. You got you got up there. The record to beat was seven. A lot of people have been keeping it at two or three. So. I, was, I was lacking a little bit. You brought it. You brought it. Thank you, sir.